Welcome to our lecture online. Our next example is one with two conducting paths, but one is larger than the other. It has a greater cross section. This is 20 square centimeters of added on 10 square centimeters, and they're made of different materials. Remember the equation that we're going to use, the amount of power transferred in heat across the path is equal to the dQ dt, the amount of heat transfer, Ka delta t divided by L. Now in this case, notice that the Ks are different, they're two different materials, and the cross-sectional areas are different, but the delta t, the difference in temperature is the same, and the length is the same. So the way you're going to write the equation now is as follows, the amount of power dissipated, which is equal to the dQ dt, is equal to, we need two separate accounting for the conductivity constant and the cross-sectional area. So we're going to take the conductivity constant of copper times the cross-sectional area of that particular bar plus the conductivity constant for aluminum times the cross-sectional area for it and then multiply it times everything else that's now common which is the delta T and divided by what's common, the length L. And so that's what the equation is going to look like now. When we plug in the numbers, we get the following. So that would be 385 watts per meter times Kelvin multiplied times the cross-sectional area, 0.001 meter squared, plus the conductivity constant for aluminum, 205, and multiply that times the cross-sectional area, which is 0.002 meter squared. And so we'll put that in brackets, and we'll multiply that times everything else and divide by everything else that's constant, or that's the same for both, I should say. So we have 100 centigrade degrees, or 100 kelvins, divided by the length of 1.2 meters. So let's see what that is equal to. 100 times that, so we have 38.5 plus twice that, that would be 41. And take care of divided by 1.2. And now we have conductivity equal to 66 and a quarter watts, but we'll just write 66 watts, round it off to the nearest one watt. And notice that because the aluminum bar is now larger in size, it can carry more heat then the total will be greater than it, what, than it was in the previous video when they were both the same size. But at least now you can see how you handle an equation like that when there's two things that vary instead of just one. And that's how it's done.